My name is Sarah and I'm the education manager at Fleet Farming and I've been challenged to do a recipe that's not only healthy but vegan and I've tried my best to keep it local as well. So I already grabbed everything that I'm going to use for this recipe so I want to kind of show you that. So let's get to that. So as you can see here I have kind of mostly what I'm going to be using today in my recipe. So I have some uh, carrots, there's purple and orange, um, there's some beets, avocado, butternut squash, and then I got some garbanzo beans with some spices. Um, I've been learning about different spices and how to incorporate that into meals. Honestly, like I said, I kind of steal some people's recipes from Pinterest or through cookbooks, so um, I know that I like paprika, black pepper, and salt. Um, I kind of want to add a little bit of turmeric, not much though, and then garlic powder. And I think that combo is going to be really good. Combo is going to be really good for garbanzo beans and then olive oil. I'm going to go ahead and chop all these vegetables now and fruits, and I'm going to put them in the oven to set to 400. Uh, pro tip, start that immediately so your oven gets hot so you're not waiting for the oven to heat up after you cut up all your veggies. So I'm going to chop all this up and I'm gonna lay it on a pan and I'll show you before I pop it in the oven. So, so far I have beets and carrots all chopped up. Um, I didn't uh, use a peeler and peel the carrots because I cleaned them pretty well. Didn't think they really needed any peeling, but with carrots, um, it just is a personal preference on whether there is um, like root hairs or extra dirt that you just can't get off. Um, it helps to peel. Same with beets. Um, I did peel the beets. I just didn't feel like I wanted the extra dirt that I couldn't get on there or whatever. So I did peel them and I cut them and sliced them with a normal knife. Um, I do haven't yet uh, cut my butternut squash, but I wanted to show you how I did it um, just to help anybody out there that needed to help be helped when cooking. So here is the butternut squash. Um, I pre-peeled it. it. Sometimes they do come bigger, um, and in that case they are harder to cut. So I would recommend stabbing with a fork around um, the surrounding areas of the butternut and then cut it. So I cut in half just like this and you want to use a spoon to scoop out all the seeds. So I'm going to do that. done, I'm going to go ahead and put the seeds in a compost because I don't need that anymore. I need to clear this area and I'm going to cut probably three times down the center and then four or five times um, vertically. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Another pro tip is um, when you are roasting any veggies and you know you have meals that you're going to cook later in the week, like a salad for example, that could use some of the ingredients such as butternut squash in your salad, you can make extra and just put it on another shelf in the oven. You have several shelves in there. I think most ovens have three to four. Uh, so my oven has two, um, but you know, you can put one on the top, one on the bottom, and it, you should be able to cook enough for future meals. So meal prep is good. So this is where the seasoning will start. Uh, so my garbanzo beans are in a bowl, and I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And like I said all these spices that I have. So 
there's really no, I mean, you could measure it. I think most people do like a teaspoon to two teaspoons, but I'm just going to eye it. I typically don't like a lot of seasoning, so I tend to be on the lighter side. Um, I, I, the rule in cooking is less is more, so I stick to that. And let's do that. <laughs> So I put my carrots, chickpeas, butternut squash in the oven. I put it on two pans and I mixed all the olive oil, salt and pepper in bowls prior to putting in the pan, but I also did put olive oil on the pan on the bottom for both pans. And I'm going to set the timer for 40 minutes on 400 and I'm going to start making rice because you want to do that until instead of waiting at the very end because it takes about 20 minutes to boil rice. So it was on eight, I just set it to low because as you can see, it's boiling, so once it starts boiling like that, you don't really need to have it on high anymore. You can have it on low, and the hot water will just cook the rice. And it should be done in 20 minutes. So I decided to move the pans to the bottom shelf because they just get more heat that way. So I'm just gonna do that. I just realized probably weren't getting as much heat as the butternut squash, so I just did that. So we shall wait and see. So I have kale in here. I was I put cold water with some ice cubes. So they look like they're pretty revived. And I was gonna chop these up with avocado while I'm waiting. So if you guys haven't ever chopped an avocado before, it's pretty easy. You basically with a knife cut it this way, which I'll do. So this one turned out a little bit messy, but you have obviously that end. And so what I'll be doing is I'll be cutting little slants down the middle. So this is the fun part. Now that we have everything cooked, we get to now put the bowl together. So I am going to assemble the bowl in front of you. Um, uh, the why, why I picked these veggies um, was because they're colorful. I aim to always have a colorful plate. That's the way I know I'm getting all the nutrients and vitamins that I need. Um, I did have proteins, and I'll go through all the different veggies once you're in the bowl, but they put them together, and we'll explain what's in there. So I'm just adding, like I said, all the veggies kind of like in a circle and you, <laughs> you can just flop it on there, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just doing it for presentation.
scooping the avocado out with a spoon. So I that, that that's the easiest way and the less messiest way. Wow, that's looking really good, guys. This is what it looks like when complete. It's looking really good. Um, I think now I have to add the lettuce or if you use kale, I'm using kale. So again, it's already looking pretty full and we're complete. So this is the finished bowl. Um, I think it has a lot of uh, high nutrients in here and protein. So if you wanna go through the, the bowl here, we have kale, uh, this is the chickpeas that I seasoned. Chickpeas is a source of protein and energy and so is avocado, which is protein packed and high energy. Then we have carrots, beets, and butternut squash. Again, I seasoned them the same way I did in the beginning. And then under that is rice, so then you have your grain. Um, this is gonna you know, give me lots of energy. Um, and it's gonna be feel really full for a while. Um, I usually do this for lunch um, and dinner sometimes, but you don't have to do it for both. It does take a while, like I said, to prep all the food. So I think in total this took about an hour and a half for me just because of all the prepping and um, you know making the video but if you wanted to, if you weren't doing the video obviously it's probably just an hour um, so uh, and then obviously to factor in if you're new at cooking it will probably take you longer just because you're trying to learn so yeah now for the dressing you can do any sort of dressing that you want. Uh, people put the, you could put tahini on it. You could put uh, ranch on it. Um, I obviously am vegan. This is a most this is an all vegan dish, so I'm gonna stick to the vegan and I'm going to put balsamic vinaigrette. It's pretty much my go-to. It tastes good on mostly everything. Um, it's safe. So balsamic vinaigrette and I get the. Follow Your Heart brand. Um, there's probably other brands out there, but my Publix locally sells this one, so it's just easy. You can also make your own dressing. There's lots of recipes online, and I encourage you to do that. So that's it. Hopefully you guys will use this recipe to empower you to get creative in the kitchen um, and try and go vegan. Obviously, I used a lot of veggies here. You could do two, you could do one, you could do five. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever you wanna put in your stomach and whatever time you have in your day. So like I said, this took a long time for me to do. Um, right now I have a lot of time, but probably um, if I was working, for example, I'd probably use this in meal prep and I'd probably meal prep and have this in about a week's worth of bowls um, to have for lunch. So it's also really good for meal prepping, this recipe. So I really hope it helps you guys and I challenge you now to go make a vegan meal at home.